Hi there and welcome back to the channel. My name's Joe Gardner and you're here in the garage for the new series of videos and this is Mini Lave Basics Part 3. So in today's video I'm going to be covering with you how to face off material and facing off material should be your number one procedure when it comes to turning down any stock on the lathe just because getting a faced value is your first reference point to making sure all your work is nice and square and true. So if you're enjoying this series of videos so far and it's helping you out, please subscribe. But for now, let's go over a little bit about facing off in a bit more detail. So facing off, why would you do it? So if you've got a rough sawn bit of material and it's got a, not got a nice smooth finish to it, then you might want to face off the end just to make it look nice. But if you're doing any sort of precision work, you need to make sure that face is a good reference to the rest of your work. So that is the main reason we face it off. Let's head over to the bench now and talk a little bit more about facing off before we jump onto the lathe where I show you exactly how to face off material. So back to facing off, why do we do it? Well, take a look at that for example. That is not a nice finish at all and it's not something we're going to want when we're machining parts. So it only makes sense that we machine this off first so we can get a reference value. If you're just starting out on the lathe, like if you're watching this video, I assume that you are, I'd probably recommend with starting with some brass or aluminium. Just that is really easy to machine and it's really forgiving if you do too much of a deep cut to begin with. But for the purpose of today's video, I want to clean up this hideous looking bit of metal here. So this is just mild steel and it's seen better days. But conveniently, someone's painted the end so when we do some facing cuts, we can see once all of our face has been machined correctly. So just the first little pointer I'm gonna give you in today's video. When you're putting any work in the chuck, this diameter here should allow for three times that diameter in stick out. So say for example, this is a one inch bit of stock, you'll be allowed three inches of stick out before it gets too much. Anything more than that and you're taking the chance of getting some chatter in your work, anything less than that is a bonus because it's gonna be super rigid. But just remember, about three times the diameter is what you can get away with when it comes to not getting any chatter. So I suppose the next thing to do is head over to the lathe stick this in the chuck and show you guys the procedure in facing off. So we've got the workpiece chucked up in the lathe now. So just for reference, this mild steel stock is 40 millimeters in diameter and I've got a stick out of just a smidge over 120 mil. So I am pushing it on the verge of what I can do before I get chatter, but I'm gonna take some light passes on here and just show you guys exactly how to do facing cuts. So the first thing I like to do when I've got my stock all chucked up is I like to just set the lathe to a really low figure, say 100, maybe 200 RPM, and just start it up without the tool anywhere near the cutting surface. Just start it up. and just eyeball it and make sure it's not all over the place, make sure it's running fairly true, which in our case it is. The next thing you wanna do is using your cross slide, wind your cutting tip here, all the way until you, you can touch off on the face. So I'm all the way that way, and now I'm just gonna wind it back until I touch it there. With it touched off there, I'm now going to wire my cross slide right back so it's off the workpiece. And now I'm ready to take my first pass. On my first pass, I never lock off the carriage. I keep the carriage free because what I like to do is just take a really light skim across this, which puts barely no load on the carriage. So it means it's probably not going to move back. Once I've got a skim pass, I'll then lock the carriage off and dial in uh, 0.5 mil of cut. So let's start the lathe up. Mm. 
So we're running the lathe at 600 RPM and I'm just going to ever so slowly wind it in now. So hopefully that gives a really good representation of on that first pass we've taken most of the paint off but you can still see some paint left over here. That means down there we had a little bit of a low spot. So now with our first pass done I've just adjusted the angle of my tool post a little bit just to give me a little bit of side clearance here on the tool. So next thing I'm going to do now I'm going to wind it all the way clear of the work. I'm then using my DRO I'm going to move forward 0.1 of a mil. So with my DRO on 0.1 of a mil, I'm now going to lock my carriage. So my lock is just down here and it's actually a 13 mil bolt that I've fitted. All lathes have slightly different locks on them, so just get familiar with where your carriage lock is. If you're unsure, it will probably be in your owner's handbook. Right, so with that locked off and a 0.1 of a mil depth of cut set, I'm now going to set my lathe up again, get it started and just wind in ever so slowly my cross feed. And with that all being done, that piece is nice and faced off now. As you can see, there's no white paint left, it's all gone, and we're left with a nice flat finish. So just to start off with, it's probably a good idea, like I said, to start with aluminium or brass, and maybe just get like a Sharpie or permanent marker and mark up the face of your material before you do any facing off cuts. After you've got used to knowing exactly when you've taken off a full flat amount, then you're good to move on to our next procedure. But until then, just get practicing with your facing off cuts and try getting some nice finishes like I have there. There we have it then. You've made your first chips on your new lathe. So that's facing off all done. And to be honest, facing off is probably one of the most easiest things you'll learn to do on your lathe. So that's one of the reasons why I put it down as the number one procedure. But also, like I said at the beginning of this video, it is a really important thing to get your work pieces true. So facing it off is exactly how we do that. I hope you've enjoyed this video and had a little insight into facing off if you've never faced off work before. So in my next video, I'll be going back onto the lathe and jumping straight back onto this bit of mild steel I've got up here, where we're gonna be turning it down, getting a nice clean surface and showing you guys exactly how to turn down material. But until then, please subscribe, watch some of my previous videos, and I'll see you in the next one.